Hi everyone, this is Philippa from RB Man B and um, I was going to just give you a quick van tour today because we have been pet sitting and house sitting for two weeks in Belgium um, which means that the van is a lot cleaner than it ever is and we live in it full time um, but whilst I was thinking about that I was going to talk about being able to clean the van when you live in it full time um, so I'll give you a quick tour first and um, then we'll talk about the cleaning part Here's our Stevie, just parked next to where we're staying, all locked up, alarm on. These are our extra storage areas that we've got on the outside. We keep all our barbecue and chairs in there for outside eating. Properly locked up with extra security bars. Here's where the toilet cassette goes in. One of the joys of living in a van is you have to deal with your own waste. And quite often, somebody else's too. So our bike rack, we normally keep our bikes on the back there, but they are folding electric bikes. So if we don't feel safe, we can fit them through the habitation door. In our storage area here, this is where we keep all our electrical cables when we're on mains hookup. And this is where we keep all our water hoses, water connectors, funnels, things like that for filling up the water tank. And we also keep our chocks in there and anything else that we want stashed, basically. <laughs> this is our gas storage cupboard. We've got refillable gas flow gas. And this is Stevie. Looking forward to being back in there in two days time. Welcome to our van. Here's a basket that we keep by the door, which has got all the things you need to grab when you leave. Sunglasses, keys normally go there, um, photograph equipment, bicycle pump, anything else that we need. We keep a torch and a lantern next to the door too, just in case we need them. And normally our boots and our wellies go here, but we're using them at the moment to look after the horses and animals. Here's our great kitchen. We have a six berth Fiat Ducato Bessicar E765. Um, there's two of us, myself and Callan, and also our cat Theodore. Now Theodore normally lives up here in his little travel apartment and where the ladder is right now is normally his cat tree. Um, but obviously he's living in the house with us at the moment so his cat tree is there um, but also we store up there all the spare bedding and we have bean bags sheets and towels and all our other spare blankets in case of cold weather which gives me a great opportunity I've pulled out Everything that lives up here, all the sheets and blankets and all those spare things, giving them all a wash and um, stacked them how they're supposed to normally live. So when Theodore comes back, he's got a nice, comfy, clean new house to live in. Uh, obviously at the front there we've got our two driver's seats. We always keep the fluorescent waistcoats here on the front so that they are easily accessible should we need to stop without getting out of the van. In the back here is our seating area. Some lovely curtains and seat covers made by my very clever sister. Some beautiful artwork here that was given to us when we went travelling and made by one of our lovely friends. Just a reminder, if we ever get lost, how to get back to Jersey. There is a table that sits in the middle of these sofas. If we ever have people over to dinner, which obviously doesn't happen very often. So most of the time, Callum and I just eat food on our laps, to be honest. Or we try and eat outside, which is one of the great things about living in the van. 
is that outside is your back garden. My favourite part of the van is our kitchen area. Uh, we are very lucky to have a full oven and a hob and a grill and it's all gas and we've got the fridge there, storage, sink, these nets usually for our fruit and vegetables just to keep them out of the way and they don't take up room in the fridge which isn't very big and just to remind us to eat a bit more fruit and vegetables if they're up here as well. Obviously they are empty at the moment because all our food and especially our perishables are in the house. You can see here these are the nets that I use when I go grocery shopping to put our vegetables in so that we don't use those single use vegetable bags at the supermarket. Cupboards up here are all our cooking utensils, eating utensils. So all our cups and mugs and plates and glasses. Most of our equipment is either melamine or bamboo, but we did decide to bring some real mugs with us, which we wrap here in bubble wrap so they don't clink around when we drive. And we also brought some proper pint glasses because we just like to drink out of those. In this cupboard is more bowls, more dishes, and normally in this cupboard here are all my spices for cooking, but they're in the house at the moment. Our pantry cupboard is looking a little bit bare right now because we have been living in the house for two weeks, so we've moved a lot of the food into there. But things we usually keep, nuts and grains and pasta and couscous and canned fruit and vegetables, because they're always handy. Um, sauces, salt and pepper and sugar and baking things. One of the great things about having an oven in the van is that we can do some baking. This is our entertainment cupboard. Lots of games, board games, card games, Uno, Yahtzee, Scrabble, brilliant for a rainy day. Lots of books. It's always good to swap books when we meet people who read English books. Um, during coronavirus and quarantine, we have read a lot of books. So if you see us around, please come and swap books with us. Our clothes cupboards are slightly emptier at the moment, with some of our clothes being in the house. But we have two of these size cupboards each. So these are my tops and trousers, um, socks and underwear, and dresses. And these are Callum's here. T-shirts, trousers, socks, underwear, jeans, swimming shorts. We have brought two bean bags with us. Now they do take up a lot of room and they usually live up there with Theodore, who loves to sit on them. But they're also great for just pulling out when you want to sit somewhere and you don't want to get all your chairs out. Or even just have a couple of extra chairs when you've got more people. On our coat rack, we normally keep our waterproofs. Mine, you can see me from space. Um, scarves and a towel. And then we have always, always have lots of bungees. Bungees are so helpful for stopping the door banging when it's windy or keeping Theodore's tree in place. Just, we have bungees all over. In the kitchen area, here's all our cutlery. And lighters and matches and things like that. In the bottom here is all our storage. We try, try to use as little single use plastic as possible. So we try and store our leftovers in pots and tubs and jars. Um, we use like cereal bags here, other food packets that can be reused, brown paper bags, wax wraps. We try to keep our life as low waste as possible and just think about 
what we're using. We did put in this white blind here, which is just a normal wind blind, roller blind, and we use it for our projector. So if we can, if we just unhook it. And put it down. There you go. There's our cinema screen. Really easily done. And it just pops back up when we want to put it away. Done. So this is the bedroom area. Actually where we spend most of our time because we sleep here, obviously. And when we're doing work, one of us is normally on the bed here on a laptop and the other one is normally down there in the sofa area which works really well so we can concentrate and if one of us wants to go to bed the other one can keep working here's our travel map it's one of our favorite parts of the van the red pins and blue pins are the places that we've already been to the string shows the route the white pins and the green pins are the places that we haven't got to yet. And these are all the photos of the wonderful people that we've met along the way. We have two more clothes cupboards each. This one is Callum's and these are his hoodies and jumpers and thermals and basically cold weather wear and things that he doesn't wear that often. Here's my second clothes cupboard. We've got swimwear, nice things for if we go out to dinner, which doesn't happen that often that we dress up. Uh, I really like these Savisto packing bags and therefore underwear and swimwear in this cupboard. Other shoes that I don't wear that often. Mostly things that isn't worn that often go in this cupboard. The bathroom is probably the tidiest it's been since we've moved in because everything is in the house. So we've got our chemical toilet, obviously. Our shower. We keep our bath type things here. And sink, toothbrushes. And we keep our shopping bags here, our reusable and cotton shopping bags. And I usually keep my vegetable net bags in there as well, which are really helpful for reducing single-use plastic waste when we go and get our groceries. At the moment, the floors don't have carpets on. They usually do. But I have taken this opportunity to pull everything out of the van whilst we're not living in it, including the carpets, which means I can give the floors a proper scrub. When you're living in a van, a vehicle, or a motorhome full time, especially if you're wild camping a lot like we do, you do bring a lot of dirt and little stones and dust into the van. Even if you take the shoes off before you come in, and even if we've got barrier mats. So we do love the wooden floor, but having the carpets down is just that extra protection and also makes it a lot warmer in the evenings. I've just put the bean bags back up here so you can see where they go. Still lots of room. Theodore's cat box normally goes in the corner there. And his cat bed normally goes in the corner here. That's his snuggly little hiding area. Oh, I forgot to tell you. His secret little area is under here. We put him in a little cat flap. And he has another bed in there. And that's where he goes when he's scared, if there's a thunderstorm. He also doesn't really like aeroplanes or the noise of rubbish trucks. So that's his secret little hiding place. We have extra storage space under the bed, which is really helpful. In this big cupboard here. Which is where we keep our other shoes our fleece jumpers, our bicycle helmets, 
our handy hoover, our spare light bulbs, more bungees, all that stuff that needs somewhere to go but you don't want on display. So that's been our van tour. I hope you've enjoyed it and maybe given you some ideas for your own motorhome or your own van. See you next time.